Greetings, it's Dr. Nashawn Nix, CEO of the First Coast Leadership Foundation. We are on day 16 of our 31 days of prayer. And just looking at this mist over the river, a couple days ago I was on my property and my brother and I were trying to burn a, a pile and the pile of wood wouldn't catch on fire so we're throwing gasoline and we're trying to light it up light it up light it up and it was like a small mist in the air after a very very light rain and that wood pile would not burn not because it was pouring down raining but because of the dampness in the air the the moisture in the air and it was like, uh, like as soon as we got the fire started, it went right back out again, it went right back out again. And basically, when we look at Jacksonville being our Jerusalem, and the Bible teaches us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and they shall prosper that love thee, I think about Job and how God placed a hedge of protection around him and his family, his children, his livestock his finances, his wealth. And when I think of the children of Israel coming out of Egypt into the wilderness, the book teaches us that he let them cloud by day and fire by night, meaning that he's our guide and our protection. And let us pray. Father, we come to you right now, right here in Jacksonville, knowing that you are real and besides you, there is none other. But at this time, in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of this pandemonium, we're praying for that silver lining. We're praying for hope to be restored. We're praying for health and recovery. We're praying that we're able to rebuild like never before. We're praying for the spirit of unity. We're praying that the deaf angel behave. We're praying for our educators, our teachers, our first responders physicians and nurses and we're praying for all types of recovery within our city whether it be financial whether it be mental whether it be spiritual you're the God that hears the prayers of your people and not only do you hear us but you respond on our behalf and for that, we tell you thank you. Continue to be with us throughout the course of this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.